ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this emergency broadcast of the game night starring Cedric. Obviously, you've seen these people before. Alex and Warren have some complaints. Yeah, Let's yeah, hear them yeah, yeah. You, you know what, Cedric? You yeah. could say we have some complaints. We oh, have yeah? some major complaints with you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But well, you should say last time we were very unjust with you, huh? We tried to steal the game away from you. Yes, you mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. You cheated. Mm -hmm. You cheated on us. We gave you two Come chances. On, man. We gave you two chances, nah, man. Come nah. on. Well, the, the last time you lost, uh, we got a call from a fox. They want to talk to us. We just got back from our vacation. We were only on the beach two hours when we saw our two boys, little Alex and little, little tiny Warren, get humiliated on TV Bully. by those terrible rubber comics. Oh, disgraceful. So we came we're back. so angry. Oh, riled up. It's going to be all right. Yes. You just calm down. Boy, they don't know what they're in She'll get for. really upset. She's going to break down. And I, I'm mad. I, I'm a lawyer, and I'm going to use all the legal means I have. Mm -hmm. Plus, we have our dog here. Come here. Oh, yes. And we're going to get him, aren't we? Aren't we, Levi? We're yes. going to get him. We're yes. going to get him. Good, good right? And before I can save you from this gentleman, let me first give them a chance to tell you where they've been and how they are ready to... Decimate your whole family? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Why in trouble? I don't know what we need to do in order to lose. So we just like not answer every other question? Yeah, I think it's hard not to answer the questions we know the answers to. I feel like if they had better guests. Ooh. Yeah, because those, those I don't think those kids have... What's the word? Uh, smart or not smart? Not, not that they're not smart. I'm oh, sure yeah. they're smart. They're smart. But at the same time, it's like, you know... Can you be smart and not smart at the same time? I don't know if that's... I feel like there's a thing for that. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe, uh, okay, maybe we should just, like, try to not answer the questions. Well, I don't, it's hard to do, though, because we know the answer to the question, you want to answer the question. Oh, it's so tempting. Did you just hit that buzzer? Buzzer? Yeah, I love the new buzzers. I love them on the screen. Yeah, they're yeah, good. Yeah. good yeah. It's a good game show. Is it really a show? Is it I really think a game? It's, uh, well, if we're in it, it's a really, I mean... Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. Okay. Yes. Well, well, well. Look who is coming. Look who is coming right there. Oh, my <laughs> babies. <laughs> my babies. Look at them. Oh, oh they're so upset. Yeah. Yeah. I went to save you guys. The, they're emotionally <laughs> disturbed because of what you've done to them. All that okay. farm. No, Do you have good. Lawrence Binky? Uh, he's gonna need his Binky. Well, we'll get you later. Um, oh, did you see oh. Alex with that tape on his oh, mouth? Oh, my God. He, he has been. Good. Just <laughs> really upset since last time. <laughs> so we're, we're ready. Oh yeah, you're ready to show them? Oh. <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna let them tell you who they are. Because you saw them on TV first. Guys, introduce yourselves to them and they'll introduce you to you. Ah, right. Let's go. <laughs> so, you River Comics? We're, we're the River Comics. The River Comics. The River Comics. The, River Comics. the same guys who beat your kids. Uh -huh. last time. Yeah. Fair yeah. and square. Allegedly, oh. it was awful. allegedly beat. Okay. Okay. Allegedly, yeah. Yeah. River it's Comics. Okay. It's River <laughs> Comics. <laughs> <laughs> this is the father and mother of <laughs> Warren <laughs> and Alex. They oh. are here to oh, save we're, the day. We're, we're sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're going to be sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just yeah. took the words out of my mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, this is game night. The same rules apply. Terms and conditions, my people. You win, you get cold coffee. Here we go. This is alphabet section. I'll give you a hint before we get started. The hint is A. This is usually something that happens around September 22nd, when their night are generally equal in length. September 22nd. It's like an A. I heard it here first. Come on, give it to me. The, the fall equinox. Mm, close enough, we are on A, remember? Autumnal. Autumnal equinox, oh. that's what it is. I didn't know what it is. Oh, 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 there are rules for this. Oh, yeah. yeah. So the next answer begins with a B. We talked about this. I see. Oh. That's how you cheated our boys. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Tell us the rules later, why don't you? Well, well, well. Out. The hint, B. Watch this. Okay. Let's go. I'm looking for a Canadian American martial mix, mixed martial arts artist and pro wrestling athlete. He's known for the, being the youngest WWE ever, and he can do a shooting star press. Have you heard of a shooting star press? When they jump on the top, they are the cones, and they jump and follow me. It's very scary. Yes, who is that? Red Heart? Mm, no, 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 that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Papa Borowski! 
That's very good. good. It has a lot of beats. I'm it. looking for Brock Lesnar. Ah, uh, uh, Brock. Uh, Brock, you heard uh, me. Brock is a big you know? <laughs> Anyways, we are on C. This is light exercises designed to promote general fitness. Yes. How is that? Hit that buzzer. I forgot you. Hit that buzzer. It's okay if it goes down. It's all stuff stuff anyway. All right. Here we go. We are on D. This is the state of being unsure of something. We are on D. The state of being unsure of something. Yes. Just quiet. Just quiet. No, no, no. Close, but not. Nah. Close, but not. Nah. Sure. Yes, of course. I'm trying to slide in answers like that. No, 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 no. I'm looking for a different word. State of being unsure of something. Dubiousness. Dubiousness. Oh, Dubiousness. Oh, oh, when something's oh, dubious. Yes. Anyway, we are on E. This is one of the largest, the world's largest publicly traded international oil and gas companies in Ireland. Yes. Enron. Mm. Exxon. <laughs> Exxon. Exxon. That's ah. good. Stonks. <laughs> yeah, here we go, we are on F. F oh. This is a person's hand when the fingers are bent towards the palm and held their tight. Yes. Fist? Yes, that's what it is. Oh, and wow. Don't, oh, don't take this thought any further than it is to be. Keep it there. <laughs> Fist, we are on G. Two points on you guys, keep this in mind. Today we are counting our own points. It's an emergency episode. What are you talking about? We are on F G. Gulam. Mohamed Baksh, he was awarded a version of the World Heavyweight Championship in 1910. He was undefeated in a career spanning for more than 52 years. He started with the G, big guy from India, very into some form of wrestling out there. If it's hard, I understand. <laughs> this is, somebody has to win. You can be yes. The, the very, very vicious, awful fighter, Gandhi. <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> Yeah, you almost said your name actor, your name actor, your name actor, your name actor, I'm looking for great, great gamma. Oh, the great gamma. I don't know if you heard of it. Great gamma. Wow. That was a great gamma. Uh, it's a little bit on the difficult side, you know? All right. So how do you call a wrestler with legitimate, legitimate solid match wrestling abilities and an array of match ending holds? Mm. Somebody who is very vicious on the mat is a wrestler. It's like a, it's a typical term we call these people. Age? Yeah, it's such age. It's like a, 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 a term called someone who is very uh, good at mat wrestling and has much ending points. Such an age. Holy cow! Yeah. It's also a prostitute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hooker. I was looking for a hooker. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's, That's a term. It's a term there. Yeah. yeah. No. It's a term for wrestling. Wow. Hooker. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. We are still <laughs> wrestling half of a person. <laughs> okay. We are on I. This is an injection of serum or pathogen to create a new a immunity to the disease. We are on I. Immunization. Uh, of course, I'm looking for something. It's an injection. Ah. How do you call the action? Inoculation. Inoculation. That's what I was looking for. Oh, How many points do you have? Got the brain. Got the brain. Yeah. <laughs> what is that for? Well, yeah. no, no. This is this is every year on June 19 of each year. What do we celebrate on June 19? Yes. Yes. June 10. June 10. That's what it is. Yeah. June 10. I, I would have gotten that one. I, I would have gotten it. I promise. We are we are on care. This is a Polish Canadian professional wrestler. May he so rest in peace. He passed away back in 2008 in Malden, Massachusetts. While leaving, he became well known for his wrestling school. Killer Kowalski. Killer Kowalski. Ah, uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about? I'm dying, Malden, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you never know. Why are all these wrestling references? We are yeah, in a hangover here, I have no idea. <laughs> so this, this, this city of, this city of, we're on L, L, which is easy. This cereal consists of toasted oak pieces and multi-colored marshmallow shapes. Oh, yes. Lucky charm. Lucky charm. That's what I'm talking about. Lucky charm. I like the accent. The accent. Lucky charm. The goddamn. <laughs> That's a city. Cereal. Oh, cereal. Oh, cereal. Oh, cereal. <laughs> Come on, Tom. I know. I know. I speak a cocktail of accents. Come on, Lucky charm. <laughs> we are on M. Okay. Have you guys heard of somebody called Randy Savage? Yes. How was he on that? Macho Man. Macho Man, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a wrestler? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Okay! 
This is how you stack the deck. Welcome to our show. <laughs> we are on end, eh? Her first name starts with Anel. She's famous for one of her many top selling records. Mississippi Garden. And her first name is at the end. Mississippi Garden. She's a poet, we a singer. We want her first name. Yes. <laughs> Give it to me, hit that buzzer. Natalie. I was going to say Nancy. Uh, I was going to say Nina Simone. Nina Simone. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I should have said this to the oh. please. I'm Come in on. trouble. I am in trouble. This is all. This is all. It's going to get easier. All right. A stone. It's a stone. Typically having a square or a triangular cross section, a pyramidal top, set up as a monument. Well, I'm not. It's actually the old. It's a stone. Yes. Obelisk. Obelisk. That's what I was looking for. Obelisk. Okay. Easy <laughs> question. Like, no, <laughs> now, now, this is P. Very uh, easy. P. A person who professes beliefs and opinions that they do not conceal. Uh, they did not hold and to consider their real feelings. Somebody holds beliefs that they are not real, they don't believe in them. They just hold them to conceal their real feelings. How do you call that person? That person is such a funny. I was looking for funny. Oh. 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 Yeah. A pony. Yeah. Uh, a pony. Now. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Now we are on cue. That letter we barely know any words on it except kota and koram or whatever. <laughs> what is what is the a pre, how do I call this? Um, another way of saying sort of. Oh, you're cute. Sort of. Sort of. Yes. Pass on. Pass on. That's what I mean. Oh. Hey. Oh. No, no, no. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. What? <laughs> The scores, you got one, you got two, you got one, one, two. I think we have ten. Come on, come on. You got an advocated score. What kind of cheap shot is this? What's the consensus? We're out. We're our players to keep in mind what they got right. At the end of the day, we ask for feedback. Like, do you think you won't? Well, the viewers probably get keep track of it. They're probably saying, you know, this is what you got. This is like a nursery school. Everybody gets A's. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. Here we go. We are on R. R. Yeah, the rise of town, referring to the period between 2002 and 2005, during which Tipo H. I will tell you. Tipo H. Uh, it was a period in 2002 and 2005 yeah. where a guy called Tipo H, as a hero of the World Wrestling Entertainment World Brand, um, <laughs> he was he was the main event during that whole time. 0205. How do you call that era? It starts with R. It's an era between 2002, 02, and 05. A guy called Triple H was basically the headline of every single wrestling event in America. Yes. Raunchy age. Raunchy age, no. Rumble? I'm looking for the reign of terror. Ah, that's how they call it. The reign of terror. Anyways, that was more easy. We are on S. This is a recurring question and it's easy because I like it. A Japanese alcoholic beverage made from fermented rice. Yes. Saki. Saki, that's right. Sorry, I'm moving too fast. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> we are on T. Like I said, we are still having a hangover of wrestling. So watch this. <laughs> yeah. We are on T. This is a morally ambiguous wrestler who is neither a face nor a heel. And in between, we are on T. Basically, remember a face is that big famous guy who is always on TV, like Tipo H or. Yes. Did you say Triple H? No. <laughs> good one, though. Good one. It's like, then a heel, a heel is more of like that guy who's always losing. So there is an in between them. And he's the most annoying person. You don't know if they are good, you don't know if they are bad. You know, it depends on what they gave them to do that day. They call them tweeners. He's like a tweener. Oh, oh, no. oh, God, I'm sorry. This is a. A hangover, that's how it feels, right? Yeah. Something you don't want, but it's still there. Yeah. That's this show. Here we go. We are on you. <laughs> to take control without authority or possibly with force. We are on you, yes. You sir. You sir, that's correct. We are on V. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you're two ahead. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you we have like three or four now. <laughs> like two. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna use one about. So then we are using the We are on V. <laughs> this is Leon Allen White. His ring identity was based on a strong warrior of the same name from Japanese folklore. Mm. B. Remember your days of liking WWE wrestling? Remember that guy called Leon Allen White outside the ring? <laughs> Japanese <laughs> folklore, man. I'm looking for Van Vader. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are on double U. Okay. This is how, this is another word for to defeat soundly or utterly. Wipe out. Close enough. Try again. Come on. Close enough though. Whip. Uh, 
to defeat someone in an answer completely. Yes. Wreck? Close enough. But Waste? Also, I'm looking for Wallop. Oh. Wallop. Ah. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. Let's give him 0.5 here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> we are on X. This is an annual athletic competition focusing on extreme action sports. Yes, X Games. X Games, that's good. We are on Y. This is how do we refer to the people and culture native to southwestern Arizona and northern Mexico? It starts with Y. How do we refer to the people and culture? Native to southwestern Arizona and northern Mexico. Oh, Yucatan? That's right, that's right. You should know <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's that. not <laughs> northern <laughs> Mexico. No, it isn't. It's well, the Yucatan. Well, it's up there on the peninsula. <laughs> Grand lines are from the Yucatan. So that's not that the region. But northern Mexico, it's southwestern it's Arizona. Huh? Well, anyway, right, go anyway. Ahead. That's not the Yucatan. But anyway. Anyways, well, I should actually uh, take that back. You... It's a yaki. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> so no point. Close. No points. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm going to protest later. I should have said anything. <laughs> this is only two years old where we changed our mind. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. Our most honest opponent ever. We are on Z, and when I say Zinedine, Zora. you say what? Zinedine. What? what? It's a big soccer figure. Like, it's the way you hear of Pele. I don't know, Pele or Cristiano Ronaldo or yeah. Ronaldo. There's this guys. French guy called Zinedine. I'm looking for his last name. What do you say? I heard of those guys. You heard of those guys? Not, not for it's, guys. Guy, it's a guy called Zidane. I don't know Zidane. No. Uh, oh my god. Uh, I should have asked this question back in Africa. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I clamped on the plane with a question and I never left it back. We're not in Africa? <laughs> no. <laughs> we got on the wrong plane? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if that was the end of the section, a of alphabet. Are you interested in Maine's best new local coffee company? If so, you found it in Claw Coffee. Whether you like the bold taste from French press or carefully pulled espresso shots, Claw Coffee has you covered. Look for Claw Coffee in all fine retail centers as well as online at clawcoffeeroasters.com. Ask you the last wrestling question. This will be the one. By the way, it's a central game night brought to you by Claw Coffee. Same host, still confused. Here we go. First question. He started his career in WWE as an announcer. He has had his run ins with the Raw, once suspended from WWE due to domestic dispute, and he's a self proclaimed king of the World Wrestling Federation. Who might be this guy? We all know him. He never rested. He's always there as a commentator. He calls himself the king of the world wrestling entertainment. I'm looking for Larry King. Larry King. Ah, Larry King. Larry King. The king? Really? I don't know that. No, no, not the guy from CNN. But. Oh, oh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Larry King. The different Larry King. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> guys, it's a party. Oh. Okay. Anyways, second question. The questions are not easy. They are specific. It's 10 points. Come on, what are you talking about? In 60 BC, before Christ, a Roman general and statesman played a critical role in the events that led to the demise of the Roman Republic and the rise of the Roman Empire. If you know me, hit the buzzer. He's famous for saying, I came, I saw, and I conquered. Two. Come on, put 10 points. Hit, hit the top. Yeah. Caesar? 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 Yeah. Trust oh, yourself, Tom. I knew you got it. I knew you had it, man. Come on. Anyways, third question for 10 points. Now you got 10 plus whatever you earned earlier, plus whatever you have, you got right here. No points so far, it's still a single digit number. After Steve Jobs was forced out of Apple in 1985, he acquired Pixar in 1986. Disney later bought Pixar in 2006. What was the first animation movie that Pixar released by Pixar? Hit it. Toy Story. Toy Story, that's what it is. 10 points on you, my guy. Anyways, fourth question. God damn, we have so many points now. I can't keep up. We are on four. How do you call any piece of video footage officially? I have to stop myself. These questions are five points, sorry. Uh, we are... <laughs> now we are on question four. How do you call any piece of video footage featuring characters or events shown to the audience for entertainment or edit action? Usually meant to introduce or a debuting character, for instance, a wrestler or, or somebody. New, you know, how do you call it? Montage? Close enough, but not correct. Um. I'm not gonna give you guys a hint, but it's close to that. It's close <laughs> to that. A montage, a small clip, how do you call that? 
a small clip introducing a new character, showing their career, showing her, you know their performances. A movie called Adinet. We are on question five, which is the last of this section of questions for five points. Five. While being signed to Rock Nation as a producer, little did he know he would come to create one of the most influential R&B albums. In 2008, Kanye West released the album 80800. Which among these songs was not on the album? <laughs> Love Lockdown, Amazing, Stronger, or Heartless? Which one of these songs? Stronger. Stronger. Stronger, that's right. This <laughs> <laughs> is the only song I knew. <laughs> Stronger was in the previous album. Anyways, that was the questions for cheap points. They got 10 of them. So, oh no, 10 points from that. Yeah, we got like the literary right. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever you had in the first section plus 15. So anyways, and the third section of questions is here. Three questions, 10 points, easy. Catch this. First question. A person has 32 teeth on average. What's the name of the animal with the most teeth? Hint, it has 25,000 teeth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm, 10 points. Yes. Well, a well. But it's not bad, so of course, no. But it's close. <laughs> Still, it's a nine year old gun. Try, guys. No? A shark. Shark? No, I'm looking uh, for a snail. A snail has 25,000 teeth. That's not very close. It was a snail. Wait, TDT? No, I think. That's what I'm saying. Wow. TDT. Yeah, wow. But also, when you think about it, ours in the rest of the talk, a lion is like tiny, you know? He's <laughs> right here watching it. Anyways. Anyways. This is a, this second question of this section of questions. ADHD is a mental health disorder that can cause above, above normal levels of impulsive activities. What does the first D stand for in abbreviation? Yes. Deficit. Deficit, that's right. Man is fast, yeah? The last question of this section of questions. The highest grossing movie at the time, Avatar, was released in 2009 or 9. Its preparation started in 1994. But it said that they have mis they have dismissed its filming because of the necessary technology to achieve the producer's vision wasn't available. Who produced Avatar? Easy guy. Mm. Uh, James Cameron. That's right, James Cameron. Wow, <laughs> These comics they're probably gonna be here next time, eh? Yeah. Yeah. James Cameron was the answer we're looking for. Well done, my guy. And the last question of questions today. Yeah. A couple of hundred years ago. The United States was friendly with a very uh, big European country. And this European country put together a very nice gift. Put on a box, yes? France. France, that's what I was looking for. Oh, <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tremendous answer, Tom. That was right on. That was on the yes, right. France, that's what I was looking for. France is the friendliest yeah. country to America Yay. by all stretch of imagination. Guys, it's the end of the show. Thank you so much for stepping in and getting uh, Alex and Wallet uh, set. Yeah. <laughs> in a tremendous job. In any ways, the River Comics are still on top. Oh. We want to have them back again. Oh. They won before the game ended. Can you believe? Congratulations, guys. There will be more coffee for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> well done, man. Well done, man. Well done. Well done. And I'll be leaving with my microphone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the piece is Alex. They're coming together. I can see him. I can see him. It's, it's a conspiracy. I just don't know why he doesn't like us, man. You know, we won twice, and he just he just hates us so much that he doesn't want us back on the show. No, no, no. What's happening is it's, it's a conspiracy. The liberal comments. They're in on it. They're in on it. He's in on it. He's in on it. He's in on it. Everybody's in on it. Look, I've done the movies. Like everyone. It's a conspiracy against us. We we won that show. No, and we got a beat. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Champion. Right. Them boys were fast, man. They knew everything. They knew uh. philosophy, theology, everything, man. They knew everything. I can't tell you much, man. Bye. Bye. We gotta find a way back. We made it. We just did a lot of training here.